Gary and Jan yeah. in 1962. So That reminds me of saw Nina Crawl at the um, nursing home the other day, and she married Jan's brother first. Do you remember Nina mm -hmm. Crawl? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and there used to be a great big tree here, and this road was a dirt road, and Daddy would put, when he changed the oil in the in the vehicle, the tractors or whatever, he would spread oil on this road because um, people just flew in and out, and there were times when the dust, like when the, the water was down at Old Whitney, um, and traffic was backed up from 740, all the way down, people going in to see where you could walk across at Old Whitney, where they'd started to build Tuckertown Dam, or mm -hmm. where they started to build Baden. And this barn is where Barbara pushed me out of the, <laughs> of the loft, and Daddy spanked her, but he didn't spank me, <laughs> because he didn't see me push her out first. <laughs> and this pond and Papa. Papa used a belt. Now, I don't ever remember. I just remember that big hand. He used a belt. I don't remember. And here is the pond where Barbara and Marie Poplin, Crystal's aunt, uh, we had all walked down there. She lived in the house over here, the little white house. Mm -hmm. But we walked down there, and we had been told not to go in that pond. And we walked down there to... We didn't know how to swim, but so we walked down there and we were just waiting and then we saw Daddy coming over this hill over <coughs> here where Johnny Hatley's house is. He was coming over the hill, so we started back to the house, but he caught us and, and <coughs> Well, I'm thinking that I'm thinking that we were down there when the cow was having her calf and we had never seen a calf born, even though we'd been on the farm all those years. Well, we, and we were, were what, watching 12, 13 the, then? Watching the calf. Well, now, I've, I've helped to deliver a calf before. I've helped Daddy hook up the block and tackle. And, and how and old were you then? I was probably 15 by then. Hmm. Okay. But, but this really, would, now, this would have been before, before that. Barbara was in the house more than I was. She was doing womanly things more often I was usually the one outside uh, and driving the tractors and the balers and plowing and, and I remember doing that stuff yeah I'm when sure you did it. I remember sitting around in trees reading <laughs> I do too and I had let's see I guess it was this tree because it, it was the, the, I was thinking there was one over here. See, Alex, all of these buildings now are gone. Mm -hmm. And where Ricky lives, oh my gosh. I, know. <laughs> I don't know what would have happened if he had stayed. All the calves were all in here. and But there was a, a big uh, pine tree. And I used to climb up in that pine tree and sit and read. Well, where this is now, there is where the house is. Yeah. That's down the hill. You you know which one I'm talking about? See, this was filled yeah, in. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. This right right in through here was uh, the driveway to go up to Johnny Hatley's house. And we used to play in this creek right here. Oh yeah, and down here too. Yeah, I remember the vines I, right in here where we that would was the next swing thing, on the vines. The great vines. We we roamed the woods and the road, and and before this was a, a paved road, and we just roamed all over the place. We walked from there to the brickyard and back and down to the river. Now the brickyard was back over here, and one time, um, Barbara and Marie and I went over to the brickyard. And again, we're just out roaming around and we went in the brickyard, I mean in the store over there and Cowboy was there and he sold us a cake for 50 cents and we were gonna go on down the railroad track and go into this, uh, call it Baker's Lake. It's uh, enclosed 
part you can't you couldn't see it from the road it's landlocked <clears throat> and the railroad track was on the other side it's where uh, Harper Hearn is on past Greg's house now but it was down old Whitney Road I know I know but it still you could you could get to it it's the same thing ski pond oh, is yeah. what it is now <laughs> But anyway, the cake he sold us, <coughs> and, and again, we didn't know how to swim, and, and we were down there. It's a wonder Mother even let us go. I know. Well, she didn't know where we were. How we were just that? out roaming around. Yeah. And we didn't think a thing about it. I mean, we weren't doing it to be, you know, to get that away was just the way. That was the way you, you lived. And I think most kids were mm -hmm. around in the country were like that. The doors weren't locked at night. In fact, the door would be standing open. You had a full screen door. And at night, the the door the screen door might be latched, but how hard would I that be? I doubt if it would even no, be latched. Not. The windows were open. There were screens in all the windows, and the, the windows were open and the door open. But uh, anyway, we went on down the railroad track, and we got down there to Baker's Lake and found out that the cake that cowboy had sold us uh, had bugs in it, and he had also let us. Cowboy borrow. sold you a bug infested cake. Mm -hmm. oh. And mm. a fifty cents, I think, is what it was. I don't remember. And he he let us take his knife that he used to cut cheese for the for the guys that worked at the brickyard. And so Barbara peed on the knife. <laughs> Are you sure it was just me? <laughs> No, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there was more than Marie. I'm thinking a couple of the Smith girls were with us. I think time. it was just the three of us. Could have been. I believe it was. But um, Barbara did do, she did a lot of sewing. She was more domestic and canning, did, didn't you? I don't know how Mother did it, really. I did This not was... Well, this is this was Mimo's garden right here. Mm -hmm. It went all the way down to the well where it is now. That's uh, the pasture comes in front of the woods. Mm -hmm. um, well, no, I don't guess so because Hoyle and Osi owned that part. I don't know how that. And anyway, this was Mother's garden, and I mean a big garden. Yeah. Uh, we had we helped with picking beans and picking corn up rocks and, first of all yeah. and clearing out the garden. But she she really did. And looking back, I think how hard she worked. Not mm -hmm. only keeping the house clean, she made our clothes. Um, up till I was in the eighth, seventh grade, I guess, when I started sewing. She um, she gave us perms, uh, and she also helped with the milking. And, and when we cut silage, and here are the trenches. We had trench silos, not the big round ones that you see across North Carolina now because there aren't that many farms left. But uh, you, we would cut the, cut the silage and pull into these uh, trench silos to unload it. But there would be like maybe six neighborhood guys, young guys. Come to help. Um, and mother would always have some big meal cooked for them, but um, and she always she made it to our ball games and taking us places. And this sign right here is for cattle crossing. I was just looking at that. That's the cattle crossing. And I side. guess that's one down there. I think. Well, this is where it went up into the back. <laughs> yeah. But um, it was. You know, when the as the herd increased, it was nothing to to bring the bring the cattle up here and and bring them across. I, I guess right here is where they crossed, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. To come into the lot the back way. Mm -hmm. These these two big oak trees right here. And still oh. play with play with boys around here and all that. Yeah, yeah. Here's where yeah. We, here's where we had our playhouse. We played outside all the time, and we played house. Mm -hmm. We would have the planks and brick and any old pieces of, of uh, part of a pot or part of a plate, and we had the little brooms <laughs> that would sweep it clean, 
And that's what we did. We played in our playhouses with our friends. Yeah, Marie Poplin, Bob, Bonnie and Ava, Nancy Poole, yeah. the Smith girls. Yeah. Right back here was where the outhouse was. <laughs> mother's is mother's clothesline still there? At that time, I don't think the outhouse was that far back. It was. It was back behind here, mm -hmm. and the clothesline was on the 